<laughs> hey guys. Here and today, I want to bring you something that really piqued my interest. HK416. You probably want one, your friends want one, and almost everyone else does too. It's a meme by this point. Buy a 416, drop a polar star in it, and proceed to ruin a children's birthday party for the low cost of a thousand dollars. Well, today I circumvent all of that, and I found something that isn't going to be breaking the bank. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you guys to the P2210 or the UK Arms HK416. I'll be giving this gun away to one lucky subscriber. To enter, subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. Let me know what airsoft gun you want me to review next. And I noticed that 66% of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as that's the easiest way to know when my next video comes out and when I do giveaways. Now onto the review. A little bit of background to how I purchased this. I went to my local flea market to look for cheap airsoft springers when I found this thing under a glass case. Wow, I've never seen this before, I thought to myself, until I saw the price tag. 100 freaking dollars. I asked the guy in the back if he can go much lower. He said no. Why? Huh. He said that it was a hyper accurate airsoft gun that shoots 100 yards and is the most expensive thing he has at the store. Now, do you think I paid him the $100, told him to drop it to 20 bucks, or did I just laugh out loud and walk out? Well, if he answered A, you're absolutely incorrect. I told the guy I gave him 20 bucks, and he said no way, so I just walked out. Unfortunately for him, I was getting him a great deal because I went on another airsoft site and I bought this for $17, and I even got free shipping. Thanks, Airsoft GI. Story time over. Let's get to opening this thing. Taking a look at the box, and it comes with this ultra premium cardboard box with a picture of the 416 in the back and the actual thing in the front. Wow, this is amazing. It even has these warning signs that say don't shoot at human or animal, like all you can in packaging. Opening this thing up and. <laughs> get a plastic BBs, a plastic adjustable stock, a magazine, and the 416 itself. Some of the features of the 416 are its ABS polymer construction, quad Picatinny style rail segments on a handguard that you can attach accessories to, grip covers on the rails, why you need that I have no idea, it's all made out of plastic, a texturized pistol grip, um, why? And lastly, you get the removable flip up front and rear sight. Unfortunately, the selector switch doesn't work, and the whole body feels a little bit wobbly. Looking at the magazine, it holds about 150 BBs, but it requires it to be spring-loaded in order to feed. So I hope you like 30 shots before you have to start shaking this thing like a maraca. Taking it to the chrono, I get about 194 FPS on 0.20 gram BBs. It's definitely not a super accurate hard springer, for sure. I don't know what that guy was thinking. And to use this thing, you rack the charging handle, which loads the BBs in, and pull the trigger. It makes a really crappy pop when you fire. So yeah, this thing is really bad. Bottom line, what do I think about the UKRM's 416? Well, it's definitely not worth $100. However, as a prop for a movie, this thing's actually really, really good. And it's probably the best looking UKRM's product you can get. Where a lot of the cheap springers have this weird ratio where they don't look like the real thing, this one does. And I can't put enough air quotes between the words feels like the real thing on a cheap Springer, but you know, you can't really tell when the cameras are rolling that it's a ABS plastic airsoft gun. And if you give this a paint job, man, this doesn't look too bad, but I do not recommend this taking into the airsoft field. Absolutely not. This does not shoot far at all. You'll be lucky if you got about 60 feet with this thing because there's no hop up. It's just a plastic bore. And I'm not sure what the owner was saying when he thought that it was some super accurate Airsoft Springer. Even if it lands, I'm pretty sure that the person on the receiving end won't even feel it. I'm not sure how long the body will last either, as it's pretty flimsy and pretty weak. In addition, the charging handle is starting to get a little bit off the rails, I'll say. So as a prop, sure. Buy a couple for $17 each, but don't try getting scammed by someone telling you 
they are worth $100. That's just my thing. Anyways, guys, that's it for this week's video. I really want to give a special thank you to my Patreon supporters who are helping bankroll this and other videos. I'll have a link to my Patreon in the description below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more reviews like this one, and comment and let me know what you want to see next. I'm Revention, and I'll see you guys next time.